I'll be showing 10 new features in Windows 11. This is for the 25 H2 update, which is out now with some other insider updates flowing in. We'll have the start menu improvements, widget updates, your phone improvements, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. The first new feature is a set of improvements to the Windows start menu. I will open up the start menu. And first off, you're gonna see it's much bigger. And this actually will resize and adapt based on your screen size. One of the bigger updates is that you're gonna see this new categories here and all of my apps are automatically put into a set of categories. If I wanna drill in, I can see even more like I can here. And if I go, I can access any of these categories. Currently, you cannot rename the categories, they are defaulted, but you can change the view. So if I change this here, I can go to grid view and now I can scroll down my entire list of apps and they're in a nice grid layout and alphabetical. The other view option I have is just a pure list. And now I can go and I can see all of my apps in a really big list, which is kind of a, a nice looking view there. And I will go back to category. The other nice option they've added to the start menu is that you can remove recommended apps if you want. So this would be apps or documents, etc. I'm just gonna right click and choose start settings to go directly into my Windows settings. And right here under personalization start, I'm gonna turn off show recently added apps. I'm also going to turn off show recommended files and start. I could even say turn this one off as well. Now if I go back into the start menu, that whole recommended area is gone. The second new feature is in snipping tool and it's visual search with Bing. I'm gonna open up the snipping tool here. Now I'll find an image I wanna take a snip of. So I'm gonna open up OneNote and I've got a photo here. I'm not sure who it is. So I'll pull up my snipping tool and hit new. I'm gonna draw my little rectangle around this image, let go. Okay, here we are in the snipping tool. Now if I right click, there's a new option, visual search with Bing, and this will just launch my browser and search Bing for who this is. Okay, it looks like it found lots of flavors of this person. Oh, Office Space Gary Cole. So now what I'm gonna do is go here, here are all the images of Gary Cole in his Bill Lumberg role, and if I go to all, Hey, there is Bill Lumberg from Office Space. So that's kind of a nice way to use visual search integration with the snipping tool. The third new feature is support for widgets on your lock screen. So I'll do Windows key I to launch settings. And I'm gonna to go to personalization and you're gonna see lock screen right here. I'll drill in. Now the new option is widgets I can have on my lock screen and I can add custom widgets. So I'm gonna turn this on and I might have weather right now, but now I can add all sorts of new widgets to my lock screen. There's a co-pilot one. I can say, hey, image generation. Now that one looks interesting. I could add another one. Maybe I want sports. And the other nice thing is I can have Windows suggest widgets for my lock screen. So if I turn this on, okay, Windows just suggested events near you. Okay, that sounds good. So now when I lock my computer and I come back, I will have these different widgets. And you can go and you can customize these widgets and put them in order. So I might wanna move this one up. And for weather, I can go in here and say Celsius, Fahrenheit, etc. I'm actually in Newcastle, that's where it detected. So I'll hit save. And now when I go to my lock screen, it'll show these different widgets. And these are the same widgets that are down in the lower left. And I'm gonna show a new update here in just a second, but it's using that same widgets technology that's already built into my Windows desktop. Since I can't show my lock screen with my screen recorder, I just have a video here with my phone that shows what the lock screen looks like after I added those four widgets. And here you can see they're on my Windows lock screen. The fourth new feature is improvements to the core widgets experience in Windows. So I'm gonna go down here and I've got widgets enabled and I'm gonna hover and it opens up. You now see a discover versus a widgets tab and I can switch between these. So here are some widgets that I have and if I hit plus, I can add more widgets. And there's a nice organizational system here. There's a new co-pilot widget, image generation. I can add this one, let's say, and I can go through and add all sorts of different widgets. And there's a bunch of great stuff that you can add right here. So this is split between widgets and then this is discover. And this is AI powered discovery of different content. So I've got sports insights, I've got weather, I've got different stock tickers, and I've got all these great discover options right here in widgets. If I wanna watch something, I've got that here, and I can even have play for different games. Also, the settings gear has moved to the lower left, so I've got information about you know on hover, notifications, if I wanna turn discover off, 
I can do that. And now it's just the widgets board. So there's no more discover there. So you've got a few options in settings to control how your widgets look. The fifth new feature is phone link integration directly into the start menu. I will open up the start menu and you're going to see in the upper right, this little phone link icon show mobile device. If I click this, now this pane is open and I can actually leave this open. So anytime that I open my start menu, it's right there, just like that. So in this case, we'll add my iPhone. I'm pairing. Great. Okay, my devices are paired. Okay, I'm all set. My iPhone is paired. We'll hit continue. So here's all my calls. I've got messages. Now if I close this, now I'm going to go back into the start menu. And right here, my phone is all set up. So I can send messages directly from here. I can send a text message directly out. I can make a call. So this is a really nice integration directly into the start menu. I can close this like that. Or if I always want it here for my start menu, I'll always have access to my phone when I'm at my desktop. The sixth new feature is a small one, but a long time request to bring back. And that is showing seconds in your windows clock in the lower right here. So I'm going to right click and say, adjust date and time. This pulls up settings under time and language. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to turn on the seconds. Drop this down, show seconds in the system tray clock. And by the way, it uses more power because the little second is constantly changing. So it takes a little more power, but I'll turn that on. And now in the lower right, it's 11, 10 and 39 seconds. And those seconds are always ticking. Turn it off, uncheck, it goes away. The seventh new feature is integration between Windows and the Microsoft 365 Copilot app. And this also works with the regular consumer Copilot app, but I've got the M365 Copilot Windows app pinned to my taskbar. And if I want to have quick access to do things with this, if I do Windows key and C, the Copilot C, now I can just message Copilot in this nice little small window. To help me research these new Windows 11 features. And if I hit go, a scaled down version of that Copilot window launches. Hey, nice. I've got a nice answer here in the mini copilot. If I want to go full screen, now I've got the whole copilot app right here. This is that app that is pinned. So it's a nice way to really launch that mini mode directly from the taskbar. The eighth new feature is a small one, but it actually is a good one in terms of the confusing way that I thought accounts was labeled in windows settings. So I'll do windows key I to launch settings and I'll choose accounts. You'll notice there's just a your accounts now. It used to be email and accounts, and there was the email one, there was accounts one, and which was which, but now everything is under your accounts. So it's pretty straightforward and a nice, easier way to consolidate all the accounts that you might have on your Windows device. The ninth new feature are a couple of new Windows shortcuts. So this is going to be for the N dash and the M dash. And if you're familiar with ChatGPT, it uses a lot of M dashes. So I'm going to go and just show what that looks like in OneNote here. These are just shortcuts that work in Windows. So to make an N dash, there right here, the EN dash, if I do Windows key minus, it makes an N dash. It's a new shortcut. Now for an M dash, which is kind of like a double long N dash, if I do Windows Shift minus, you're going to see it makes that double dash, that M dash. So two nice little shortcuts. So if you're trying to make yourself look like ChatGPT and you want to throw a lot of M dashes everywhere, Windows Shift minus, that's how you do it. The tenth new feature are a couple small improvements to dark mode. I'm going to go to File Explorer here. And in the past, what would happen is the File Copy and File Delete dialog, even if you're in dark mode like I am here, wouldn't show the proper dark mode. So what I'll first do is paste so you can see that dialogue. So I do control V to paste and look, this dialogue is now nice and purely dark mode. And we'll close this. Similarly, when I delete things, I'll shift click and just hit delete. Same thing that recycling delete dialogue is nice and dark moded. So that's a small but nice improvement to make it more unified in file explorer when you're using dark mode. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.